So, what's the difference between current and voltage? That's the subject of this video. Not the first line in a poor physics joke. But, if you want one, then here's a joke courtesy of ChatGPT 3.5. What's the difference between current and voltage? I don't know. What is the difference between current and voltage? Well, current is like a river that flows steadily, while voltage is more like a lightning bolt. It just wants to make a shocking entrance. So, maybe artificial intelligence needs a little work improving its joke writing skills, but look out for the series of videos I'll be making on how you can use ChatGPT to help improve your open-ended question solutions. Here are five differences between current and voltage. Number one, units. Current is measured in amperes, or amps for short, a unit named after French physicist and mathematician André-Marie Ampère. Voltage, on the other hand, is measured in volts, a unit named after the Italian physicist and chemist Alessandro Giuseppe Antonio Anastasio Volta. Number 2. Measuring current and voltage. Current is measured in series with an ammeter. So in this circuit, you'd have to create a gap in the circuit in order to place it like so. Voltage is measured in parallel with a voltmeter. No need to create a gap in the circuit. In this circuit, if you wanted to measure the voltage across the resistor, you'd connect the voltmeter like so. Number 3. Definitions. First off, current is defined as the charge transferred in one second. You can use this equation to help you work out the definition, but just make sure that you know the definition for current, as well as this one for voltage. Voltage is defined as the energy given to each coulomb of charge by the power supply. So try to memorise these definitions as they're written here. But basically, current is related to the number of electrons passing a point in one second, and voltage is related to the energy that the electrons have. Number 4. Current and voltage in a series circuit. First off, current is the same at all points in a series circuit. Taking this circuit as an example, if the current at this point is 3 amps, then it will be 3 amps at this point and, you guessed it, 3 amps at this point too. Voltage in a series circuit splits up. Let's say the supply voltage in this circuit is 9 volts. We might then measure 4 volts across one resistor and 5 volts across the other. Or, 6 volts and 3 volts, or 2 volts and 7 volts. The important thing here is that the two voltages add up to the supply voltage. For more information on this type of circuit, just look up one of my videos in voltage dividers. Number 5. Current and voltage in a parallel circuit. The rules for current and voltage are reversed when looking at a parallel circuit. So where current in a series circuit is the same at all points, it splits in a parallel circuit. So if the current at this point in the circuit is 6 amps, for example, we might get 2 amps in the first branch, 2 amps in the second branch, and 2 amps in the third branch. Or 3 amps, 1 amp, and 2 amps. Or 1 amp, 4 amps, and 1 amp. Voltage is the same in each branch, and is equal to the supply voltage. In this circuit, with a supply voltage of 9 volts, the voltage across the first resistor is 9 volts, the voltage across the second resistor is 9 volts, and the voltage across the third resistor is... Any guesses? Yes, that's right. It's 9 volts. Well done you. Did you enjoy this video? If so, be sure to subscribe to the channel and drop a like all over it. Till next time, I've been Mr Smith and you've been watching Mr Smith's Physics Online. Goodbye.